News Channel 9's James Torres joins us now from Woodmore Elementary School, where a vigil is expected to begin shortly. James, you've seen several examples of this outpouring of support throughout the community today, right? Absolutely, Josh and Latricia. You can just take a look here. Uh, people out here were lighting some candles up. You can see the number is 366. That was the number of the bus that took the lives of some of these children from Woodmore Elementary. Now that candlelight vigil has wrapped up by now. A lot of these people are making their way over to a church down the street where they'll have a prayer vigil. Now we've definitely seen this plenty of times in the last 18 months. Uh, anytime a tragedy happens here in the city of Chattanooga. Now this vigil is just one of several examples of community support that we've seen all around the city and the people involved uh, there of of all ages. This sign knocked down at the site where elementary school kids were killed in a bus crash. But when Chattanooga gets down, the community brings it right back up. There was a tragedy and this is how Chattanooga comes together. At local blood banks, nurses working overtime, community members donating whatever they can. It's the least we can do, you know, to help someone else. And heartbroken people of all ages giving a voice to those who are speechless. We are here with you and the six kids are too. A little further north, this class at Saudi Elementary is writing cards with powerful messages. We will be praying for your school and your loss. Students say it's what they wanted to do. We're going to write, we hope your students feel better soon. The school's principal impressed by her students. If you notice what she's wearing, she too wanted to honor the fallen students. Well, we saw on social media last night that a lot of schools were going to wear blue and gold, so I put it on our Facebook page to wear blue and gold. Blue and gold, the colors of Woodmore Elementary, all efforts to shine a supporting light for a community that has seen so much darkness. We're strong. When times really matter, we come together. This is what makes me proud of my city. Latricia Josh, a couple more things that I want to show you across from, or just a couple feet rather, away from the uh, front of the school. We see the flagpole is at Hag's uh, half staff uh, in honor of uh, these students who lost their lives yesterday. Right just below that is uh, some memorials that we, uh, we've been seeing all day. A couple signs that read, our, our hearts are with Woodmore. Uh, love and prayer from Battlefield Elementary. Again, this is just another example of how the community time and time come back to support those that are hurting. Now, again, this vigil has been, uh, has wrapped up and many people are being uh, asked to go down to uh, the church down the street. That's where they'll have another prayer for these students who uh, who have experienced such a, or the families rather, who experienced such a great loss. Right now we're live in Woodmore Elementary. I'm James Torres, News Channel 9.